Hi everyone, it's Jennifer, and I'm going to go through um, my um, all my advents and show you what's coming up for December and all the advents that I'm going to be going through and give you a sneak peek. Um, I won't be opening any, any of the wrapped packages or anything on here. But I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of the advents I have that I will be opening in December. So why don't we take a look at the advents that I have. And I hope you'll be joining me in December to see the openings of all these different advents. I am super excited. <laughs> so the first advent was a gift to me from Daniel over at Pawpaw Yarns. And as you can see, it is a Cadbury Advent. And it is like super huge. And I'm super excited for this Advent. I can't wait to get it open. <laughs> but it's super huge. But look, 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 it's got Fred I want it. <laughs> It is way bigger than the one I had last year, and I can't wait to open this one up. I am super stoked. Um, I'm really, really excited. Um, my next one, because, well, you can't, well, at least I can't do one without a uh, tea advent, and there it is, but when I open it, that is what it looks like. Oh, boy, that's really glaring. And it just tells me the flavors. And that's it. When we lift it up, it's got the teas. So, we get to try a different tea for every day, all the way up to the 24th. And it tells you a little bit about the teas. So there's the tea advent. I'll set that over to the side. And my next advent, let me try and open it without dumping it everywhere. I have a habit of dumping this one out. This one is from Southern Skeins. And it came packaged absolutely adorably. Here we go. This is from Southern Skeins. And as you can see, it's got its own pocket calendar. And that is adorable. So that's really cute. And between now and then, I should get it hung up on my back wall. I want to tie it back up again so I don't lose any of the bits inside. And the theme for this one is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So, and to go along with my Rudolph Southern Skeins is this bag right here and this is the inside right there and it also has the last day Christmas day all wrapped up and here it is Rudolph and Friends yarn advent calendar and those are the people that participated in it. And there is the picture from Rudolph and friends. And they also gave us on the back the name of each of the mini skeins. Right there. So I'm anxious to see those. So that will be a whole lot of fun to open up. 
and there are some extra little bits in there um, like stitch markers and a, you know pen or something all up in the uh, advent calendar my next advent calendar is from Papa Yarns and here it is and yes it came with the full hank this is a spoiler guys <laughs> came with the full hank and here's the name of the hank it's called Christmas Kiss and there's all the bits and I also I didn't look anywhere down deep in it but laying on top I'll show you what came in it laying on top I'm going to set this one to the side. Oh, I took the paper out. Laying on the top was a pencil. Right there. Oh, it's glaring on his face. Here he is, a Santa pencil with snowmen and Santa on it. And it came with this wonderful bag made by Linnea's Designs Rita. Look at that decorative stitching and show you the inside of it which is just fantastic. It's got this zipper po pocket down there in the center and it's got a pocket over here which is fantastic and hang on down here it's got a little d-ring for putting your keys on or hanging your stitch markers on and she included a lavender sachet but this thing is mega huge and holds tons of yarn it is a box bottom and i love this but look it's got all the outsides on it it's fantastic. It is fantastic. So that is from the Paul Pie Yarn Advent, which I can't wait to open. I am super excited. And let's make my cat happy. And last but not least is my 12 Days of Stitch Miss Box, which came from Hobby Lobby. And... This is what it looks like right here with the paper and everything in there like that. And it says, it's not hoarding yarn. I'm storing up for winter, which is awesome. But this is the 12 days of stitch miss and it's got everything in there. It's all the way down to the bottom. I am super excited to get this open and get started on it so let me get this closed up because it's a big heavy box it's a rather unwieldy as you can see so I have this one here that's only 12 days my question for everyone is do you want me to start the 12 days on December the 1st or do you want me to wait and do it on the second half of the month? So let me know how you'd like me to do the 12 day advent and I'll go with the majority rules on how you want me to do the 12 day advent. So leave your comment and let me know. I really would appreciate that. I am super excited to open these advents this year. It's so hard to be patient, <laughs> but let me, let me know, guys. I really appreciate that. Please stay safe, be kind to one another, and as always, happy yarning. Bye now.